Hello everyone, this is Faith. There's something that's currently on my mind. There's a... Haven't you noticed that in different TV shows, this is done to death across most of the children's cartoons, at least, from what I've seen, and I've seen a lot of cartoons. In most of them, there is generally this plot line where all of the friends... There's a day where all of the friends are, are um, avoiding or ignoring that one friend because they're planning a surprise party. And the friend in question is feeling hurt and betrayed and upset because they misunderstand what's going on and they aren't being told what's going on either by anybody. Um, their friends are so busy working on all of these plans for the surprise party that they are ending up neglecting uh, the friend that they're planning the party for. And the friend that they're planning the party for is now then left alone feeling hurt, sad, and upset because the char that character does not understand what's actually going on. This has been done to death in a lot of children's media. At the end of it, there's, when they're having a surprise party, things start to actually get cleared up and the character who, that the party was planned for begins to feel a lot better. Things resolve themselves at that point. Wouldn't it be beautiful if the community could actually do something like that instead of just jumping to conclusions at the first misunderstanding? Picture this. There's an episode that follows the same storyline, but at the end, instead of things getting resolved, the character who's had the party planned for them kicks and screams and says, no, you still don't like me, and storms off in a huff instead of celebrating the party with their friends. Would that be a good moral of the episode? The answer is probably not. So is it a ne so is it necessarily a good thing for the community to insist on whenever they have to, uh, any misunderstanding of any sort to refuse to go to the person and try to clear up that misunderstanding? Because so even in kids' cartoons, misunderstandings like that tend to get cleared up. Meanwhile, here in the community, Filled with adults who should know better. They say, no, we're not going to go talk to that person that we are misunderstanding. Instead, we are going to assume the worst. Is assuming the worst the correct way to go about things? I don't think that it is. If we want misunderstandings to be resolved, we have to go to the people directly that we misunderstood. Not sit and insist that our misunderstanding needs to be 100% accurate and refuse to go talk things out. If you misunderstand something or you think someone said something that was offensive, you need to go to the person with that offense instead of sitting there and acting like you're in the right for refusing to do so. As Vencedor recently did over emails, and I'm sure other, and I know that other people have commonly done within this community whenever they misunderstood Chanel. Again, I'm seeing, what I've been seeing lately is just misunderstanding Chanel and then condemning her based upon that misunderstanding and misinterpretation instead of going to Chanel herself to ask for an explanation. I will see everybody next time. Thank you for watching.